cognitive overload. Yep. So I think we, we all have an idea about what that means, or we can have an intuition about what it means. So what does it mean in the context of data visualization? Yeah. So especially for people that are newer in this field, the initial feeling you have when you're designing these dashboards that contain several graphs, right, is that you want to give as much information and as much analysis as possible in, in one page. And um, this can uh, end up with a result that people see a lot of stuff, but they don't understand anything. Because uh, the, the cognitive load is, you know, we're all, especially in this uh, day and age, our attention span is quite limited. So when you're throwing a lot of information at me, and when I mean information, it's not just the analysis, I mean also colors, maybe too many graphs, maybe too many filters, maybe too many uh, parts that are text. I don't know where to put my focus on. So every dashboard should have one or maybe two straight messages that you should receive straight away by looking at them. Yeah. Uh, this makes me also think about uh, another concept that I'm really fond of, which is called decluttering. For me, this term was made popular by uh, a very um, interesting data analyst in the United States. Her name is uh, Cole Nathlick. She also has a great book. Uh, it's called Storytelling with Data, and she addresses uh, a lot of these terms of how to make your, your dashboards look better, how to make your charts better, um, highlight the uh, nuggets of information that you found in your exploratory phase of the data. Well, I've heard about this term, decluttering, used in a lifestyle sense. Mm -hmm. So people trying to live a more minimalist life, like having fewer things, yep. not having things they don't need, have, not having things they don't use, um, and just simplifying all the aspects of their life. And I, I guess it's kind of a similar idea. And, yep. and how, do you, how do you do it? Uh, one way is, of course, to show fewer things mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. the screen. Yeah. How else do you declutter? I have something for that as well. So this is an example taken from her website. Alongside the book, she has a blog and a podcast, a lot of stuff, but she also takes uh, exercises. Like he, she takes uh, graphs or dashboards that were thumbed up by her clients that, okay, you can use this to highlight a point, you know, maybe anonymize the data, but you can, you can use that. And that's it's a great resource to sort of highlight that information. This is the example I picked to highlight this uh, meaning. So this is a column chart that has a pretty, uh, it's an easy to understand um, element that it wants to highlight. So it's about when do shoppers begin shopping for Christmas specifically. Oh, okay. And it's divided by men and women, as you can see in this uh, legend up top. The y-axis is from 0 to 50%. The x-axis is a bit strange because it's not very consistent, right? It's before September, September, October, and then first two weeks. Yeah. But that's all right. And it's just a lot. It's very simple data. Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing complicated here. We're not talking about quantum mechanics. Somehow I find it hard to kind of read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my eyes go all over the place and don't want to settle anywhere. Also, I think what's very missing from this is what's the main story here? What, what, what is the nugget of interesting oh, information yeah. you found out from it, right? So what she does is she takes charts like this and then she declutters them, brings them to a more simpler information. And uh, this is how it looks afterwards, right? So uh, the y-axis is removed because we already have the percentages in the bar chart as a data label. The colors are toned down to just highlight the things that we're interested in. No 3D, uh, that's maybe a good base <laughs> case practice. It's much harder for us to determine comparison when the elements are in 3D, so 2D is the, is the way to go. And also, I think maybe mostly important, she has the, the, the important information up top in the t title, right? So, what she drove from this data is that more women start their holiday shopping early versus men, right? So we see that the uh, pink bars are higher before uh, Christmas, and as you go towards Christmas, less and less uh, uh, women shop. And that it's the other way around, yeah. Because yeah. that's the main difference and the main conclusion, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we see the, the decrease in men as well, but you know, women plan better for, uh, for this holiday. That's the, yep. the main idea from this chart, right? So all of the elements that didn't exactly give me uh, insight, that didn't give me a proper way of looking at it, so like I mentioned, like the y-axis, the vertical bars, the 3D uh, uh, bars, them, uh, columns themselves, 
let's let's get rid of that let's change the font to something more simple everything is bolded everything is uh, harder to read the fact that the elements on the x-axis are also like uh, uh, to to a degree makes them a bit harder to read so let's simplify everything put it into perspective and uh, get to the point you what's, know, what's the analysis it's really interesting because the information is the same i mean the only exactly difference the is the title which she it's her conclusion. The title aside, it's the exact same information, but this is so much easier to, to look at. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and read. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's just, uh, you're looking at just one chart. Usually uh, there's different definitions for this, but when we say dashboard, we refer to having not just one element, one chart. There's a bunch of charts, a bunch of tables, uh, any type of elements that can help you analyze the certain thing you're trying to analyze.